good, y'all? My name is Josh Hitek, and in this video, I'm talking about steps I've taken to learn React.js. The reason why I wanted to make this video is because I wanted to show my method, the way that I think about approaching programming languages and how to learn them, and I feel like this is a, a good video to make. So be sure to subscribe, like this video if you haven't already, and let's get straight into it. The first step that I did to learn React.js is going through the documentation. So I went through the official site React.js and I just literally went through the documentation. And that was pretty helpful to just get a feel for what I'm learning, exactly what are components, et cetera. And it just kind of stepped me uh, through it like bit by bit. And I feel like that was pretty helpful. And that was the first beginning step. It didn't give me the knowledge to know everything, but it did give me key terms, understanding what things were at a high level and it just kind of walked me through how to learn react.js the second step that i did to learn react.js on top of the documentation was going through a udemy course i went through a udemy course with coach Steele, and this was with the react.js and primarily the videos were with uh class components however to really understand um functional components, I just refactored it to functional components every time he did a project with class components. So that was really, really helpful because at that point, I'm not just going through it and just copying exactly what he did or just going, I was literally converting everything that he did in with class components into functional components. And that really helps me get a good understanding of both, honestly. So that's what I did to get really good um, for my second step. Now, the third step that I did to learn React.js was I just started creating projects. At this point, after going through the documentation and going through a course, I felt like it was time for me to just do a project on my own. So if I needed help as I'm going through a project, I will literally just Google it or use my notes because I took notes on the Udemy course. So that was really helpful. And then at that point, I was very ready um, to knock out anything that would come my way. And mainly what I just did was create a landing page, just try to have a nav bar, a footer, and the body, which is like a H1, and just making everything just look like a actual page that you would see like anywhere. So that was like a good start. And then I just kept layering on with different projects, like, and tried to use APIs and tried to get better and better and better. So those are ways that I improved um, my skills um, with the Garcy React JS, and just to let you all know in more detail, it did take me over a month just to do the landing page. It didn't take me a day or a week. It took me over a month to do it because I'm a full-time developer as well as making content. So by the time I'm getting to projects, it's later on in the evening. Sometimes I'll get tired, but I will still try to push through. And another thing that I did was really helpful was I used Trello to like add tasks that I know I needed to get done. And some of those tasks, I would definitely make them short and simple. So I'd be like, at least if I got 15 minutes, I can just go ahead and create a button or something simple to help me in regards to making progress on my projects. So these are the tips that I've done. Um, also, what I use to take notes is I use Notion to put my notes for React.js. And at this point, now that I had it all together, I created some projects with it. I felt like at this point that I learned it. And then from that point on now, I just layer on top of it, I build on top of it. So I use different ways to start up the React app. So now I can use Next.js or I use V, as I made a previous video about that to use React. So that's how I kind of just kept building on top of it to the point where I got so comfortable. So yeah, so that's all for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I tried to go in more detail and I want to make more videos about my journey of how I learned regards to front end development so be sure to subscribe like this video and espero que tengas un buen día chao